All right, we're gonna get the boys out and kind of show you what I've been doing with them. This is just working with them individually, but together at the same time, so I'll show you what I mean. See if I can get this. Look how close they are together. And they're not looking at each other. They're not looking uneasy toward each other. They're focusing on me, which is exactly what I want. 
And uh, no animosity, no tension. Ah, geez. No tension or anything like that amongst them or between them. And uh, doing great. This is a very important thing if you have two dogs to get them to know the difference between, between each other. Uh, if that makes any sense. So when I call one of them, I want one of them to come and I want the other one to stay there. So this also translates into the living room or in your house. Uh, if you want attention from one of them or if you want to give one of them affection, they don't, both of them don't need to be right at your feet the whole time. Uh, they don't need to be jockeying for attention or playing that jealousy game. Um, you do, when you have two dogs like this that are aggressive, that have been aggressive and have that history in the house, when uh, you do not give them affection when they just come up to, the, to them on, your, on their own. You need to call them to you, give them their affection, and send them back. They need lots of structure when you have dogs like this in the house that have been fighting. Um, just getting them to sit, just saying sit, isn't enough of a direction. Nope. Isn't enough of a direction because if a dog just comes up to you and sits, well then he kind of manipulated that affection. Just, he put himself in that position. So in other words, you need to initiate it. You need to put him in, the, in every position that gets them affection. If they're not getting affection and you don't want them around, then they need to be have their own spot in the house and they need to be laying there. When you have dogs like this that have aggression history and bad fights, it's, it can't just be a free-for-all in the house. It cannot be, a, you know, it can't be an amusement park. They can't have free roam of everything. There has to be constant structure. If you cannot provide the structure and the attention to the dogs and to the issue that, that's at hand, then they need to be in crates. So if you have to run to the store real quick, don't just be like, oh, they'll be okay for a couple minutes while I run over to the convenience store. No, you have to be diligent with it and consistent or it will not work. But right now they're doing awesome. Pretty, pretty boys. I'm very proud of them. All right, we'll see you later. Toodles.